grab the link and throw it everywhere. Oh, I should probably scroll all the way to the top. Okay. Mr. Thorn is rescheduling his stream. Some oh. fucking twats. Oh, hate the sound of my own voice. So do I. Hate mine. You should go look at the info transfer thread. Give me a sec. That's funny. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I have a fucking EVA helmet that had it. The item so come contained within this helmet comes a wearer's head from flesh and or exo neurons into the raw stuff of thought. I have no head in this helmet. Oh. That's uncomfortable. That's oh my god. I am now a permanent hunter. Your spawn is. The fuck is this lore? <laughs> Weird. Oh my god. Silence lasting a point. Found now, do you think? Oh, so this helmet is kind of just like a. Oh, this helmet's cool. <laughs> or for it's cool. I'll drop it in the self promotion link in Olympus. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, hello everybody who's uh, lurking. Welcome to this fucking oh. dog shit experience. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, weird thing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, uh... Stevens versus me and Enclave Emily. Yep. Come, comes now pro plaintiff David Stevens hereby submits the following complaint to the court for the tort of copyright infringement. This court has federal question subject matter jurisdiction pursuant to Title 17 of the U.S. Code. Uh, the reason why I think Emily is the major, like, why she's first is she's Portuguese, and if I was the first one on here, it would have been... It, would be, it, it would, wouldn't be in California. It, it wouldn't be in California. It would be in Minnesota. And Minnesota laws would probably heavily favor me here. Uh, this court has personal jurisdiction over Emily. <sighs> Can't. God damn it. Hold on. Windows is being retarded real quick. Okay. This court has personal district, uh, jurisdiction over Enclave Emily because she lives outside the United States. When she was issued her DMCA counter notification, she agreed to the jurisdiction of the district where the host website is located. The host website in question, youtube.com. And that website is headquartered in Leno Park, California, which is part of the Northern District of California. So that's District 9. Which means, due to the fact that the way this lawsuit is set up, I also have to deal with District 9 laws. Great. This court has long-arm jurisdiction over Tristan Berger. <sighs> <laughs> Just that sigh. Nice gameplay. Wait, hold on. Am I under the wrong category? <laughs> oh, no. 
am I under the wrong category? No, it's it's just chatting. Nice gameplay. Yeah. You are in just chatting? Awesome. Thank you. Worry I will me. be right back. Okay. I'm gonna go on mute. Uh, thank you, Mr. Square Peg. Also, hello. Pingus! Hello. Thank you for the pingus. Thank you for the follow. <sighs> this... Pingus! Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the follow. Oh, because they are both being sued for acts taken as a collective unit. Collective unit. Caught in bed with the Enclave. Now everyone knows I hate muties and ghouls. But there's a problem with this. When the video I made and put out on Acerthorn, I was unaware of Enclave and Emily's interactions, and I was unaware of 90% of this. I made the video after a month of watching his content straight as the only YouTuber I was taking in due to the poor research of the video. The only reason why that video wasn't longer and it was capped out at 8 minutes is I started recording it and editing it while I was while I was sick with COVID. Suit is a collective unit for independently making entirely separate videos. Correct, which is retarded. He is trying to catch us on a technicality that after I made my video, I had been invited to the Acer Thorn uh, APB thread in Kratos' server. Which is mostly just a thread that pokes jokes, makes jokes and stuff like that, as well as documenting all of his public activity. Because it's an interesting thing, to be honest. His public interactions and his public bullshit that he does is humorous at times but a lot of the times it's very dumb hey slash welcome to me reading lawsuits out as well as not calibrating my obs before doing this welcome to the midnight ashtray fuck i lost my spot uh collective unit okay I can see that, yeah. They're actively working as a part of a group who are collectively engaging in targeted harassment, doxing, and dogpiling against me of pure malice and spite. You're gonna have to fucking prove that shit in court. When I made my video, there was no malice or spite. I was pissed because you were abusing the copyright system full well knowing so. And the fact that you refuse to look at your own fucking actions and realize that you're fucking up is what's pissing me off here. I would have been completely fine making that video and the fucking dropping you as a topic and moving on. He's acting like we're all some kind of collective hive mind. Yeah, he's acting like we're the fucking Zerg. Like, it's retarded. It's dumb. And if anything, it's probably his fucking paranoid fucking delusion. And whatnot. It's stupid. And if he tries to fucking DMCA this is me reading out my own fucking lawsuit i'm gonna f oh I'm, I'm gonna be very upset about it because it's gonna be retarded oh what is going on i made a video on some dumb fucker because i watched his content for a month after my little brother sent me a link to his channel and i went i can see some areas where he can improve his scripts could need some work rewriting and you know re-editing as well as proofreading uh, he could definitely do with more research in his videos, and if anything, he needs to actually take criticism well. So I went out and started making a video, and I released this video uh, with about it was an eight, about an eight minute video, and it's at, at maximum uses a minute of his footage, and it's seven minutes of me talking and offering advice and criticism to help him improve his content for his viewers. He then DMCA'd a friend of mine ex Artemis Wolf who's here on stream with me but she's currently AFK and he then spurred out in my discord dip messages and I called him butthurt then he struck me and then he tries to claim that he's hold copyright over the legal filing that he wrote that's now on public record big titty streamer lady discusses law and order dun dun yeah <laughs> I was trying to read this shit at work I got Oh, it, 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 this whole lawsuit pisses me off for several different reasons. First off, it's a frivolous lawsuit that he's using the state of Arkansas's taxpayer dollar to file. 
that pisses me off a lot. He's also doing it just to actively fuck me and Emily over because it was about to hit the 10 business day mark for our videos and strikes to be rescinded and reinstated. So I had to sprinkle on a sense of humor. No, and you're fine. I honestly appreciate the humor. This is just dumb dog shit. I have stated before in a private call, I would rather wrap a rusty bo iron bar <laughs> with barbed wire, lemon juice, and salt and sodomize myself with it than actually have to deal with this shit. But it's whatever. If anything, it's humorous at times. Because I'm pretty sure he doesn't understand some of the words he's put in here. Uh, the two defendants in this instant case are far from the only people involved this collective attack against me, they are simply the only two so far who have filed DMCA counter notifications. Such as Tristan Berger deserves to be listed as a co-defendant in his, in this case, thus granting this court long-arm juris jurisdiction for the same reason as it has long-arm jurisdiction over Frederick Allison, who is currently ongoing case in Stevens Polano, blah blah blah, and also known, henceforth known as the sister case. Is it bad I'm thinking of calling you Mr. Slash Mrs. Burger? Please don't. Please don't. That's not even her name. I'm reason why I'm not commenting on that little thing here is because if he f fucking realizes something about it mm -hmm. and reamends it, then that means I actually have to deal with it. It's not a dead name. Well, yeah, no, it is a dead name because I plan on changing it. Since it's my father's last name, I plan on changing it to my mother's maiden name. Hello. Hello, poofers. Welcome to me getting a little heated over this. Yeah. Also, they say hi, Artemis. Um, yeah. It's... Hi, Pika. Oh my god, Echo is doxing themselves. No, look. I've got it censored here. And I've also got this oh, censored god. here. I actually almost... Because I didn't know whose address this was at one point. Until I re went back and reread it, it's Alphabet Inks. I almost censored Alphabet Inks <laughs> fucking address as well. Listening, listening to my friend argue about dipshits on the internet while drawing Artemis and Alexi. So what did you do on your Sunday night, Reiner? Uh. Also, did you guys enjoy the Super Bowl? I don't understand the Super Bowl, but it. I heard it. I hear it's you know fun. You throw people throw balls and tackle each other and stuff. I mean, I like playing with balls, just not for sport. Uh, the last play was clutch as fuck. Yeah, uh, Los Angeles Rams won, right? And my buddy won an fifty dollar bet. I didn't even know the Super Bowl was here. Yeah. Oh, damn. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, where was I? Oh, yeah. Um, this bullshit. Okay, the following facts in the case. To un needed to understand the case. I am a YouTube channel owner and streamer on Twitch. Both of my channels I go by the pseudonym Ace Thorn. You can find my in fuck you, bro. I'm not reading your fucking links out. If anything, do don't don't go to his channels. Do not interact with him. It is I, don't just don't do it. Save yourself the trouble. Leave this person alone. I don't. I still really... think it was funny. He was bullied off a stream earlier today. I don't really watch football. Would rather watch legal bullshit. <laughs> I prefer soccer. Soccer's a beautiful sport. So you like kicking balls, huh? Uh, the fucked up thing. It's your birthday today, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is this is what I got on my roommate's birthday. So this is what I'm doing instead of actually like. I was supposed to be watching a movie. Yeah. I heard Emmy did that. I watch Puppy Bull. Legal bullshit, bullshit while drawing gay wolf girls. I prefer the Pokemon Championships. <laughs> okay. Time to get back to this. Uh, essentially, you know, his own channels and stuff. Tristan Berger is an individual who runs a YouTube channel and goes by the pseudonym Echo Wilder and refers to, yeah, they, them pronouns as they can be served at the following address. My address is right here. It's fucking redacted. However... I love how the fact that he's only cited my YouTube channel and he hasn't cited my Twitch. I'm more, I'm definitely way more active over here than I am on YouTube. Subscribe to Echo Wilder. 
Yeah, if you want to. I have links to the YouTube channel as well, and if you go over to my YouTube channel, you can find uh, the other creators who have been helping me out, as well as I've been helping them. I think I know why he feels the need to specify the pronouns. Yeah, because he got called the fuck out on calling uh, trans women uh, men, and as well as referring to them as quote-unquote people, and fucking it's... It's stupid. Enclave Emily is a Portuguese YouTuber who goes by the pseudonym Enclave Emily. And prefers to go by she, her pronouns. Her YouTube channel can be found at this link. This, yeah, you know what? Go sub to Enclave Emily. <coughs> sub to X Artemis Wolf's new channel. Sub to Versus 22, Prometheus Prime Show, Captain Poofers, everybody. Everyone who's not Ace with Thorn. Don't sub to Ace of Thorn. He's not worth your time. He's not worth your watch time. And if anything, he's not even a good content creator. He's only here to make money. He has no passion behind his work. Because you can easily tell that by going to his Twitch channel and seeing the fact that he locks every single VOD behind a fucking paywall. And subscribe to Patronus' dead, con dead YouTube channel on the content that they don't know what to make. Like, if anything, if you actually go... To their Twitch channel, you will find Ace on Ace of Thorns Twitch. You will find every single VOD is locked behind a subscriber paywall. That is bad for business because you don't know if you want if you're if you're going back to watch a VOD because the streamer isn't live. You don't know if you want to, you know, give that donation because you don't know if you'll enjoy their content. Subscribe to Sid Alpha. Yes, definitely sub to Sid Alpha. Like the whole shtick here is. Like, that and, like, you can only be, like, I think he swapped his chat so only subs can talk into his chat, which is horrible. Like, I can understand doing it for followers only, especially no, if you're... No, I think it's followers only. Oh. But he bans, like, everyone who joins. That's dumb. Um, but, like, another big thing is you... I can understand setting your chat chat to followers only especially if you're a small streamer who keeps getting harassed and raided by people who are negatively impacting your channel and trying to get you banned you know that that's understandable but like i like to keep my chat open because it allows for people to pop in and express or talk and see if they actually like the atmosphere of the chat and the atmosphere of my streams that's more important to me is people who enjoy my content want to stick around because i make this stuff for people to enjoy you know, this is a hobby. This isn't... I'm not trying to make a job out of this. Ace of Thorn is only doing this because he sees that people like Logan Paul, Markiplier, stuff like that, get pretty decent, sizable paychecks out of this. And that's what he wants, is money. Hence why he sued the state of Texas for $5 trillion, why he sued Walmart for $600 billion, why he sued... What was it? Microsoft and Google for $500 billion. All he wants is money. And that's why his content suffers. It's because he doesn't actually fucking care. And that's yep. what pisses me off about this. Just a heads up, Thorn admitted to using a DMCA to shut down people talking about him on Twitter. Let me know if you want the link. Uh, yes. Well, I can't view it. He's blocked me on Twitter. He didn't block me, though. Send me the link. It, but yeah, uh, just drop the link in the Discord. I'll have it passed over to people who are actively archiving. He wants to try and put as little effort into a job as possible. Walmart, six hundred billion, three times worth, three times worth the company. Yeah. Make an archive on. Yeah. We'll post it in the Discord. Awesome. Thank you. I will. I will move that link over to the people who are actively archiving it because we're trying to get. I uh, there are people who are actively trying to get an archive spreadsheet of this stuff going. As immediately as possible. Yeah, because he's. Uh, you can also use an incognito window to view people that block you. Yeah, I've been doing that. I've also been swapping over to an alt account, but if, at this point, I'd rather him just unblock me because that's just too much effort to put into viewing his con to viewing his tweets because a lot of the times, they're dog shit. Like this entire 11-page fucking lawsuit. It's all dog shit. He hasn't blocked me yet on Twitter. Trying to scratch everything he sees for cash. Yeah. Also, hello... How in the fuck do I... Pro I'm sorry, but how do I pronounce your name? <laughs> uh, 
Finally, Alphabet Inc. is the parent company of YouTube LLC and YouTube... I'll be right back. Okay, and YouTube LLC owns and operates the Epinominous website, which is a lar the largest video website sharing website in the world, both terms of viewer base and frequency of video content submissions to their site. Both are included as normal defendants in this case. They can both be served at the following registered agent. The following table outlines all works that, what, that are copyrighted by me and are relevant to this case. All of these copyrights are registered. This live stream has no fucking use in this case. Pronounce my name or someone else's. Your name. Uh, C D N B or C D N Baki Mono. Also, oh, hey Blaze. Tweets are admissible in court, and a miss a mission like that would be very useful to legal counsel. Yes, that's why we're archiving everything. I even have. I think we have an archive of my emails with him. I'll just call you Baki. Okay, Baki. Would and you... then we have an archive going on on uh, Send it to me, and I will <clears throat> send it to this person who's archiving it. But this this stream right here, the his a live stream performed on April tenth, uh, two thousand twenty one, without me realizing until over an hour later that I was in fact streaming. That's not relevant to this case. I never used this, neither did Emily. We never touched this live stream. A collaborative live stream performed on April 18th, 2021, alongside with a Swiss streamer named uh, Pol Carl Polano and I are co-authors on the stream. Okay, well, you kind of fucked yourself with this one. I've got stuff too. If you need any of my stuff, let me know, Echo. I will gladly let you know if I need it. But this one right here, this... I fucking, I, this is what I find the most humorous out of all this. So he currently has a lawsuit going against Carl Polano. Where he yep. is arguing about the fact that one of the live streams that him and Carl, and Stefan P, which is Polano's name, or, you know, sub to him on Twitch, or follow him on Twitch, sub to him on YouTube, great guy. Uh, he's trying to argue that the, the stream they did together is Acer Thorn's copy, right? However... He, used and he the, just said they're co-authors. Use the term co-authors of this stream, meaning he has no actual legal fucking case here. You shot yourself in the foot. You fucking idiot. A live stream performed on December 18th, 2021, along with a YouTube channel owner who goes by the pseudonym Skibbity Dibbity. I do not know this man's real name. First off, why is Skibbs' stream in here with you, with you in here? None of us covered yeah, this. Well, None of us touched this. We talked about it privately. We watched it privately. And it is the hardest and most agonizing live stream I've ever had to fucking sit through. Skibs has the patience of fucking Promet of a fucking of Atlas holding the goddamn Penis. fucking Oh my god, thank you for the thank you for the follow. Uh Baki. But um Stone just fuck doing that. Skib Which probably made it terrible. But Skibs has the fucking patience and strength of Atlas to sit through eight fucking hours, essentially, with the Ace of Thorn. I feel like he has no legal Still grounds for all this nonsense. I don't know how he nonsense. did it. I mean, yeah. No, he doesn't have any legal grounds. He doesn't have any legal grounds for this. He's abusing the system and is trying to silence people who have who have voiced uh, an opposition. Hey, Lashorn, welcome to me reading eleven pages of garbage. Eleven pages of autism. Yeah. We don't claim him. A video less than one minute long that went on YouTube on my YouTube channel called was called the correction series is canceled and here's why. Okay, I use this in my video. I use this. I only used. A small portion of the video to accent the fact that he canceled it but he canceled it for all the wrong reasons because he is trying to say that everyone in the comments of his of him you know of his correction series was being malicious and dogpiling him and harassing him in those comments even though they were pointing out the fact that he was still being kind of a cunt in his corrections yeah it's why yeah, I've been would. turning into tuning into all this I found out about all this mess because of Sid Alpha. Yeah. Uh, 
really I'm really glad like we were able to reach out to Sip and Sip is willing to help us out with here. Because man. Yeah. Cause this is all fucking garbage. This is all nonsense and this is un if anything this pisses me off that I even have to sit down and talk about this. Cuz I would much rather be eating yakisoba, watching shitty kaiju movies and like not have to worry about this. I made my video, and I was going to move on to a completely different fucking topic. I thought maybe I could help a, a another creator actually, you know, help, help out with some criticism and advice so they could improve and actually be, and draw in more of a crowd. Sorry that you got, that you're being dragged into this hunt. It's alright, Lasharn. It's part, it's part of being a content creator, is you'll end up finding really shitty people who don't know how to handle other people saying bro you kind of fucking suck at this maybe try doing this to help yourself because if anything all i want is for people to for him to like that's what i originally wanted was for him to make enjoyable content for his fucking viewers but instead no he's got to be a fucking man child and throw a fit because someone said you suck at this he's all you really said was you back down butt. because he tried to file something even though he can't fucking spell <laughs> I would recommend reaching out to Raidia Media. Also, I think it's weird that it said a lot of people criticize me because I can't admit when I'm wrong. To rectify this, I made a correction series, but in the description he said the correction series were made as a test. Yeah. It's dumb. It's retarded. Uh, okay, sent the archives to you. Thank you. I will grab those real fucking quick. did you send them to? Uh, they should be on Twitch Whispers. Oh, okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. I don't use Twitch Whispers because they kind of suck. But thank you. Yeah. Archive. Okay. Uh. <sighs> Fucking hell. <laughs> okay. Shoop. Control C. A bunch of people have been tagging and a couple of other you youtuber lawyers uh, I've been thinking about personally reaching out to some of them and talking to them and seeing how their rates go uh, simply just to get a kind of an idea and see if I can get legal counsel uh, blah, 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 words consultation on I'll make you guys one collective deal oh yeah well, no, we saw that that is an old tweet that we do have I believe archived but I am dropping this into our thread. So it is there. Thank you, though. He's a lawyer in MN, but he also does live stream coverage of internet legal shit. Especially when tips are shared on Twitter. Honestly, any lawyer can just destroy this within two seconds. Yeah, like I could go and find the bottom of a barrel lawyer and be safe. But. Yeah, no, if he's a lawyer in MN, that actually helps me out a ton because I am also located in Minnesota. Oh, fuck. Okay, so the artwork I use for my YouTube channel. Um, channel artwork isn't really... You don't really have a case for it because it's public domain. However... Why would you ever want to copyright shitty MS Paint artwork? It's creative... It even says it's made in MS Paint. Yeah, it's Creative Commons. <clears throat> yeah, but it just, it's still, it'll still be expensive and time consuming. Yeah, it, well, it's legal bullshit. It's always going to be expensive and time consuming because our fucking court system sucks ass in the States. 
Well, at least you can sue him. Everything for sucks ass this game. For the, uh, cost. Yeah. But, yeah, it's Creative Commons, so... This right here... Doesn't fucking matter. I'm sorry, but your watermark... The only reason why we didn't cover the watermark up is so that people could actually... So it was, so it was easy to tell that it was your fucking footage. It doesn't even matter if you fucking cover the watermark. He still took down my video that had his watermark censored. Look, mommy, look at the artwork I made all by myself. Yeah, this that's essentially... It's like refrigerator macaroni painting to your shit that is garbage, like... His art, his channel background is still just a basic, he didn't even make it. All he did was go and take an image he found on Google and then put it in MS Paint with the fucking fill tool. And then overlaid yeah. some fucking shit, uh, shitty text. I really wish he used Comic Sans, but he probably used the basic paint text. Uh, please note that this is not an exhaustive list of every copyright owned by me. It is the only... Only a list of copyright works whose infringement I am suing over in this instant case. All of these works are registered, and their registration predates the defendant's infringements. Can you imagine if he actually commissioned someone for an avatar? What kind of fucking abomination would he create? He probably uses Times New Roman, most likely. Lurk. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lurk command, sadly. Uh, I'm also going to say this. You don't have to listen to uh, to me, but Piece any artists in my chat, if he ends up reaching out to you, just don't don't take his money, don't don't do the work for him because it's. I'm pretty sure he's the type of guy where if you slightly fuck up on like a singular line, he's gonna sue you because you tried to damage his brand or some shit. That that that's the type of person he comes off as. I'm oh Jesus! I am currently involved in active litigation against three defendants named Carl Polano, Real Mates, Frederick Allison. Their case, the case, the number of that case is that. In that case, I argue that defendants should not be allowed to use the affirmative defense of fair use in part because their entire motivation for infringing my copyright in the first place was to merely harass me, dox me, and dogpile me out of pure hatred. Bro, you're fucking retarded! Holy shit! Hatred. You mouse. made that video to try to help them and spite. For this reason, I argue that their videos should automatically not be considered fair use, even if those aim videos could be considered fair use under otherwise identical circumstances owing to the common law doctrines of abuse of rights and unclean hands. My video was not made with unclean hands. My video was made with the purest fucking intentions. My video was made... It was only after he fucked up and took it down you got pissed. Yeah. My video was made with the purest intentions, I was unaware of your, mis your, your misdeeds and your fucking disgusting actions and your fucking habit of frivolous lawsuits before I made that video. I did not know that. I learned that afterwards. Therefore, you cannot argue that my situation was unclean hands. Abuse of rights? How am I abusing my rights here? If he doesn't like your work, you're doxing and harassing him with unclean hands. He's basically admitting to not caring what, about fair use from what I'm hearing. Yeah. No, he doesn't care about fair use. The only time he cares about fair use is when it's him. The only time he cares about this shit is when it's him. Also, don't false flag. Don't do any of that. Please, just don't harass this individual. He's not worth your time. He's not worth your effort. Someone has been. He got copyright struck by someone. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it. Because if anything, falsely doing this stuff is going to damage what, we, what we're what we building towards. What we're trying to do. It'll make us yeah. look worse. Too late, it's already happened. I'm like, oh, Look at these people. They're, they're, they're doing this shit. It's like, no, we're not. We yeah. don't want that. I am also saying this because I'm disavowing it. I'm disavowing harassment. I'm disavowing... Do not dox. Do not harass. Just leave this individual alone. He is... Don't argue with an idiot, because they will drag you down to the, your, their level. He has also literally violated DMCA for that one lawyer. Yes, that lawyer can file a DMCA claim. Because that is justified. Ace of Thorn is abu has, you know, infringed his copyright. But he's trying to sue over fair use. <laughs> See, Mark Twain sinks in. Yeah. 
It's ridiculous. But I am disavowing it and stuff like that because if anything, I don't I, I, I hope he becomes a log cow to the levels of Wings of Redemption and fucking Chris Chan. I hope I can look back at all this fucking shit flinging that he's been doing and laugh. If he wants to be famous, let the internet make him famous in their own twisted way. Because this is what happens to idiots like him. Uh, as we are about to see, a reasonable person can consider this case to be a natural extension of ongoing harassment, doxing, and dogpiling that the individual defendants in this case have inflicted upon me. For this reason, I will refer to this case as simply the sister case from here on out, since these two cases are so heavily intertwined. Also, for the reason that court may or may not find it prudent or, and in the best interest of judicial economy to either merge this case with the sister case or to stay the proceedings in this case pending resolution of the sister case so essentially from what i'm picking up from this thing is he either wants this case with me and enclave emily to merge in with the polano case or either have this case fall under the same jurisdiction as the polano case even though this is completely two is. different situations they are the court already decided to wait until the Polano case was finished for this one to have anything done with it. Yeah, the funny thing, I think you'll suppress him in subs while he stays at two K scrub. I, <clears throat> if I do, awesome. If I don't, don't really care because this is again, this is a hobby that I enjoy doing. This is a passion that I have. I also, could, I wouldn't care if I stayed at one hundred and eighteen subscribers for the rest of my YouTube career, as long as the. You know something I noticed. Yeah. Sorry. What's up? Go ahead. Finish. Uh, I was going to say, as long as I, I could stay at 118 subscribers, as long as that I'm making content that I enjoy and that the people who enjoy it are there for. Because that's all I really care about doing with this. I just enjoy making YouTube videos. I enjoy streaming. It's fun, it's stress relieving, and it's relaxing. Also, <clears throat> I noticed that ever since Sid Alpha used the term dogpiling, it is. This it keeps coming out of Ace Thorn's mouth. It's his new favorite all the time. Word. Yeah, it's his new favorite word. Apparently. Uh, I am indifferent to whether. Okay, this I read this before. This this right here pisses me the fuck off. This is I am indifferent to whether or not the court chooses to either either or neither of those things. I am filing this complaint because the defendants have issued DMCA counter notifications. If I do not file this complaint within 10 business days, the infringing videos will be reinstated and I'm filing this lawsuit to protect against those reinstatements. So essentially you have just admitted that you're just doing this to fuck me. Yeah. It pissed me the fuck off when I read it too. <clears throat> he hears random terms, uses them over and over and hopes it sticks. Yeah. But he, he doesn't understand them. That's the problem. But this... This is fucked. You have no case. You know this. The only reason why you're doing this is to fuck me and Emily. It's probably the only, because it's the only way you can fuck something. Uh, Acer Thorn Pinata bashing thread. Wonderful thread. I love this thread, by the way. It, it's an amazing thread. A lot of great memes. Fuck me up and hail out of it. Uh, before we move on into the infringing video, this needs to be said. There is another YouTuber who goes by the pseudonym Kletosis. He owns a Discord server called the Owl Server, which you can access here. Discord link. You can also join Kletosis' Discord through Kletosis' uh, YouTube channel. Please, go drop him a follow. He does a lot of lovely work there. In that server, there's a thread called Ace of Thorn Pinata Bashing, or APB for short. As the name would suggest, this thread is dedicated exclusively to harassing, doxing, and dogpiling me out of pure malice and spite. Those participating in APB are constantly searching my entire life force of personal history and sharing it with each other, an act also known as doxing in internet terms, including my Bruh. medical records. What? No one shared your fucking medical records, dude. Uh, we're gonna just. Your court documents saying that you have Asperger's? Is not a fucking I'm gonna, medical. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. So I ha I can edit this. Uh, so I'm, we're gonna just strike that through. That's not true. Uh, information regarding a crime I was charged with for over a decade, where I wasn't even convicted. You mean where you allegedly stabbed your father? That wasn't a decade ago. Wasn't that in like 2012? Uh, something like that. I have no idea. 
and even finding numerous porn websites date and dating websites where they where users have pseudonyms similar to mine so they can speculate what sort of kinky stuff I may not have made be interested to in the bedroom. I watched Emily's uh, stream earlier and she said that he mentioned that in that he did have those accounts in his in the DMs with her. Is there any of this that's true? I don't really know and if anything I would I after this and whatnot I am actually going to see if I can get when I go to a consultation, I'm going to hand this over to a lawyer and see what he can glean from this. Uh, they also constantly monitoring my social media activities like vultures, looking for anything they can find, literally any sentence I might say, or a single twitch of my eyebrow that I might do on camera that would give them more ammunition to use for their never-ending efforts to harass dogs and dogpile me. There is no legitimate motivation for anyone who participates in APB. Just pure hatred, just pure malice, and just pure spite. You're going to have to prove that. Uh, no. Because ninety percent of the time, APB gets sidetracked with random junk. It's not all yeah. about you. Then that's why our thread is better. What I was gonna say is that's the only reason why it's called Ace, the fucking Ace of Thorn Pinata bashing is because it's funny. Because yeah, you look like a cheap fucked up one dollar fucking do Dollar Tree looking pinata, you dipshit. <laughs> I have no idea why this is in here. Uh, Carl Polano and Frederick Allison, two of the individual defendants in the sister case, have joined APB since last November of 2021. Prior to them participating in APB, it was primarily dedicated to criticizing my YouTube videos, but nothing more. However, once Polano and Allison came in, they began circulating numerous bits of my personal information, such as the content described above. Once they began doing that, many other people joined in an internet pheno phenomenon known as dogpiling until it ceased to be about legitimate criticism of my YouTube videos and became nothing but harassing doxing against me. Look, it's not fucking doxing if I Google your goddamn thing, go to the second page of fucking Google and find your fucking court case against Polano. And now that this one's out, it'll probably be the first fucking page too. He looks like Golem if he got more Bleed and Beast. Yes. Let me know how much this cost, by the way. I'm saving as we speak. I will let you know. But no one's doxing you. No one gives enough of a fuck to harass you. We're just yeah. making memes and poking fun because it's funny. Because you blow everything out of proportion. Because you're you're a char you're a caricature that everyone jokes about. Picking apart your arguments is extremely easy. The fact that it took you 15 fucking minutes to realize that a root was in the ground. You say that you play... Isn't it more like 20 minutes? You, you tell people that you play a character, but you don't. You do that to protect your fucking intellect that you believe <clears throat> you have when you're just an intellectual farce. Yeah, he does this shit in real life. Just look at his lawsuit history. Holy shit. The defendants in, the, in this instance case particularly regular regular or regularly in P APB. Admittedly, Tristan Berger participates less frequently than Enclave Emily, but both are regular participants. As a result, I believe their actions should be considered bad faith and malice, which should nullify any affirmative defense, including fair use that they may have as a copyright infringement according to legal document doctrines of abusive rights and unclean hands. I have good news. Yes. Daniel and Kevin just came up with a super great thing. What? You don't have to pay for a lawyer. You can ask for a public defender, and they won't charge you for it. And since he's representing himself, it doesn't matter how bad the public defender is, <laughs> you're good. Well, shit. Let me get in contact with Emily and let her know that. Since he's suing you. Oh, fuck yeah. I am the defendant. I'm not the plaintiff. Yes. As long as you're the defendant, you can, you can tell them you need a public defender. All right. And they don't even have to be good at their job. Of they just all, have to be better than him. Of all, that's that's a very low. Anyone bar. is better than him. Holy shit! Of all copyrighted works, I listed in it's a fucking musical note eight of this complaint. Work ones, the live stream from April tenth that happened by accident requires payment on my YouTube channel. None of us. Have, I didn't. Okay. Are you trying to sue me for fucking clicking a link, bro? Like really? 
Allison and Plano have posted clips of a stream on APB allowing everyone participating in that threat, including two of the defendants in this case, to see it without paying it. You don't have fucking proof. You don't have proof for this claim. You do not have fucking physical proof that I clicked on that link. Paragraph 8. Okay. But this, this right here. This whole little chunk right here, strike through. That's garbage. You cannot actually fucking prove that in a court of law that I clicked on a link to your fucking shitty live stream clip. The only reason why I can tell you what's been going on in there is because it has been described to me on multiple occasions. While you're sitting there pacing around your room, making fucking disgusting noises like a wild animal locked in a cage. The thing is, he says he didn't make those noises. That also nullifies his own case. Yep. Without paying my fee, this is illegal viewing. It's the first count of copyright infringement. It's not illegal to look at things. On January 5th of 2021, Tristan Berger uploaded... Hey, Vernon. I was going to say, those are your birthday cupcakes. That's your birthday cupcake. Only because I uh, said something. <laughs> I did pick them out because I was like, she likes chocolate. Mm. But... Tristan Berger uploaded a video of you on their YouTube channel. If that video was stuff, it could be found here. Why'd he include the link if it can't be found with you fucking retard? In that video, Berger used a great portion of copyrighted work. And I did fucking not. There's about a minute. No, you really didn't. There's about a minute of your footage. It's seven minutes of me talking. Do you have the video? I have, I have, the, doc? I have the video Google in a Google Drive. I also have the video. Just send it to Posted elsewhere for anyone who happens to stumble across it. Oh, where's that? Send me it, please. I've already sent you the link to that that site. And if anything, I'm half fucking tempted to go and re-upload it to BitChute. Cause I don't remember you sending it to me. Oh, it's. I'll send it to you after stream because I don't feel like plugging okay. shit that doesn't matter. Because I'm not Acer Thorn. <laughs> Uh, but no, I did not use a great deal of that. If anything, the funny thing, I'm surprised he hasn't didn't use his Dark Souls retrospective. I used actually a lot more of that footage than I did of uh, Correction Series is cancelled, and here's why. <laughs> uh, they used the heart of that video. No, I... What constitutes the heart of that video? You being a fucking salty little bitch? He says that every time he uh, tries also, to get Also, they permitted that. other APB participants to engage in kind of harassment, doxing, oh. dogpiling that occurred in the AP video in their video comment section, causing the video to become just as much of bad faith and malicious as the APB. No, I did not. If there was actual doxing in that video, I would have removed it. Or in the comment section, I would have removed it. If people were actually trying to harass you in the comments of that video, I would have removed it. Because that's fucked up. However, people were just saying, you're kind of being a bitch. You fucking retard. Maybe he didn't know it was his footage. Look, I know how to kill those rats. Oh, rats are easy. I'm getting a little heated here. Let me grab a Mountain Dew. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Alexi calls you a bitch in a subway bathroom ASMR roleplay. Mm -hmm. Ugh. This is just a fucking mess. I use several, several different, I will be 100% honest, I use several different videos, footage from several different videos in this video. Most of them were his shorts because they were easy to fucking cut and edit and that I didn't have to worry about blowing my fucking eardrums out as much. Still did. Had to fucking tweak his audio for him. I had to edit his videos properly to edit my own. If anything, I fixed his shitty audio balancing. I fucking tried to stabilize the fucking audio channels, but I'm sorry, but if your fucking wavelengths are a fucking brick, you need to start over. <laughs> Acer Thorn strikes me as someone who didn't get the reality checks he needed. Yeah, I have a problem with it. Audio as well. Look. 
I'm a smaller, we're smaller YouTubes, YouTube channels. I kind of expect smaller YouTube channels to have fucked audio a bit because you, no one, no one starts out with banger audio unless they were like a teenager who was like, uh, can I get this, 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 and this for Christmas? And then they have like the perfect fucking recording setup, but don't know what the fuck they're doing. I'd like to say I did decent with my audio. Uh, Deadass, I thought Ace of Thorn, when I first heard of this whole situation, was just a really was just really big bait. Yeah, I did as well. I that's why I spent a month watching his content to realize, oh shit, he's fucking serious. Uh, on January seventeenth, two thousand twenty-one, Enclave Emily uploaded a video to her YouTube channel, which repeatedly copied excerpts of, from copyrighted works. Numbers 2 and 3, numbers 5 through 13. If that video were still up, it would be found here. You Did mean... he mean 2022? Uh, probably. Because he know... gets the date wrong later in the in the, the document as well. Next thing you know, he's going to try and trademark color blue. Well, I mean, some companies actually have trademarks on colors, but they're very, very specific shades of color. They're also only for specific instances of use. Yep. Uh, did you know that the Camel Cigarette Company actually has a copyright on the cam the Camel and the Two Stones for their logo? Audio audio is okay. Oh, hold on, chat starting to actually move a little bit. I have pretty good. I have a pretty good audio setup, but I don't have. I, but I haven't put out any actual public videos yet. Look, audio. I feel like is one of the most important things. Like you, you can kind of have subpar rituals. Agree. Um, but audio is super important. Which is actually why I'm going to be altering my current setup, and I'm going to be putting, because I can't afford soundproofing, I'm going to be putting rather thick blankets and pinning them in, into my walls. So I have some kind of sound cushion. Uh, my audio is okay. -ish. I don't know. People tell me my stuff is okay in voice chats. But again, I just say I sound like diet critical, so I can't say anything. I have a lot of old videos I've privated where my audio is garbage. Hey, guys, Reiner here. <laughs> Yeah, audio is garbage in calls, but in my videos, I think my audio is pretty good. Uh, but no, it's just like, if anything, I'm trying to learn how to balance my audio better. I'm trying to learn how to do that. Yeah, I need to learn how to do that. Because I'm actually putting in the effort to improve my content to make it more enjoyable for the people who view it. I am not just pissing a video out every day, every week every fucking other week in hopes of maybe this will revive my dying channel because I paid for sub bots and artificially grew it and everyone can kind of tell because I'm sitting at 2k with maybe only 30 video views per video I'm sorry but I'm at 120 subs 30 views is kind of the standard for my channel size you should be at least getting closer to 500 to 900 views at 2k Yeah, you need to give me some tips on that one day. I honestly, what, okay. So my audio setup is super scuffed. I legit only use a microphone and I have the gain turned all the way down and a certain pattern set on it. And then I have my own, in my OBS, my own microphone audio input turned down a little bit. That's it. I also use a pop filter. Pop filters are super fucking important. They, they, they allow you to pop your peas without actually popping them into the microphone. Super fucking cheap. Yeah. I've heard of people using a sock as a pop filter on Blue Yetis. Don't do that. Because someday you might accidentally forget which sock you're going to grab for your pop filter, and next thing you know, you put the crusty oh, sock no. on, the, on, the, on the microphone. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm getting anywhere from 100 to 300 views on YouTube. How is Acer getting 30? <laughs> yeah, it's because he's dog shit content, and people realize that he only puts out dog shit content. You, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it is also worth noting, all throughout that video, she used information from my personal history that she only learned from her participation in APB of the 22-minute video. Only two minutes were spent actually criticizing my video and streams. The 20 minute was spent doxing me. In this respect, her participation in APB can be said to be the approximate cause of that video's creation, but her participation in approximately 90% of that video would not have existed. It was not. You're lying again, Acer Thorn. Stop it. The whole Get some help. Again. 
I didn't even participate in APB. I googled your goddamn fucking YouTube account name to go and find your Patreon to laugh at the fact that you're only making $14 out of it. I think you made that much at all. I happened to scroll to the second page of YouTube, and lo and fucking behold, there is David Stebbins versus Carl... You mean Blum. Google. Google. What did I say? YouTube? You said YouTube. Um, I've got 3.7k views on a video that isn't even public. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. I'm going to 1v1 Ace of Thorn to Cabela's Pro Fishing on the Nintendo Wii. Dude, I will fucking clap your cheeks on that. <laughs> Do not try me. I will 1v1 you instead because at least you will be able to have fun instead of listening to fucking heavy mouth breathing, breathing dog noises, and the possibility that he'll try to murder you because you made him slightly mad. Oh yeah, did you know, due to actually getting gaining access because I found his name through, because he connected it to his fucking channel, I decided to do a little more looking out of curiosity, and at one point in a legal document that I was reading, it stated that Mr. Stebbins sometimes or heavily fantasizes about kidnapping and murdering anyone who's made him angry. Yup. Like, seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? He says he practically jerks off to it every day. Oh, no, 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 not that one. That one was... Uh... No, that's the same one. Oh, it is the same one? Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's the same one. P.O. Box. Uh, I'll post the one I'm talking about in YouTube... Hashtag YouTube on the Discord. All right. Uh, wow. Yeah. Wait, yeah, Baki. It's fucking bad. Like, this whole situation has been garbage i have been trying to remain quiet since i was since i had filed the counterclaim fuck that to be honest i'm i'm getting a little pissed off you poke the bear and i don't care anymore like i know i have a case uh, i have a very good fucking legal defense here because he cannot justify that the usage of my fucking video is or was what i did in my video is harassment is doxing any of that there was no harassment or doxing and if the video is still up you could go and check the fucking comment section yourself to see that none of it was there i'm very upset with myself that i did not archive those fucking comments like my p.o box no screenshots of mine though like my p.o box is in three towns over from where i live that's how paranoid i am I honestly, at this point, could give a fuck less. The only reason why I censored my my address is for the safety of my roommates. You sure it wasn't for his safety from your roommate? Seeing as how there's currently a lot of fucked up shit going on, I'm saving us the fucking trouble of being possibly swatted. I'm worried for my cat. P.O. Box so I can send you raccoon plushies. Uh, please. Uh, DMCA counter notifications were issued against the infringing videos mentioned, paragraph 17 and 19, so I must file a suit in order to keep them from being reinstated. How about you actually man the fuck up and let the, let the videos get reinstated instead of being a fucking bitch baby, a fucking cry baby bitch boy? Jesus fucking Christ. Applicable law. There are only two elements necessary to plaintiff's case in an infringing act, ownership of copyright by the plaintiff and copyright by the defendant. See, my, my major question here is, this is about copyright infringement. Why is 90% of this entire fucking document about dogpiling and doxing when there was no doxing yeah. or dogpiling here? There was no harassment. All of us have disavowed harassment because it's fucked up and a waste of time. I even said that in the intro for both of my videos. See Hustler Magazine Inc. versus Morale Majority Inc. 76F.2D1148, 1151, 9th Circuit, 1986. I have sufficiently alleged the first factor in paragraph 8 through 9 Wait. of this complaint. I have sufficiently alleged the second element in paragraphs 16 through 20 of this complaint. Eh. Isn't that the same thing he sourced on his How Not To Do Copyright? I believe so. You know, How Not one... To Do Fair Use video? Yeah, the one where he's uh, twisting copyright law to, into his favor and cherry-picking things. Yeah. Well, also, in that same fucking video, he talks about how he's left critical videos of him up before. 
And if you Bullshit. if you pause that video, you can see mine in that playlist. And yeah, I made a meme on that, and it says that he's a hypocrite because he shows your video, and then I show your email you got saying he took it down. The stream is making me crave Baja Blast. I wish I had a Baja Blast. Because apparently Thank letting you. it happen or even bringing the... Well, it happened completely nullifies fair use or whatever. Yeah, that's what he believes. And it doesn't. I do not control other people's actions. I made the video. The video is fair use. The thing is, he thinks we do. That's I, a fucked up... I believe in freedom of speech. Therefore, I do not suppress comments. Unless it is actively damaging to my channel, or if it's actively inciting harassment and doxing it and uh, dogpiling. There was none of that in any of those comment sections. You can take a look at my other video comments. In the pinned vi in the pinned comment, it says, "Please do not harass the top the top uh, the top the people who are discussed within these videos." I literally have a disclaimer on my videos that says not to do that as well, and he still did it. Free speech is based. Look my video down. If anything, I have been very tempted to approach Sid Alpha and be like, "Yo, how much money would I have to PayPal you to?" Uh, narrate my disclaimer for me <laughs> like the do not harass and the this video falls under copyright uh falls under fair use disclaimers because i think that would be absolutely fucking amazing it would be he's got a good youtube voice too i fucking love sid's voice it's so good uh, in this case, Stebbins versus Polano, the court explained that I do not need to address the affirmative defense of fair use at the pleading stage. However, there is still one thing I feel compelled to address. I expect the defendants will claim fair use as affirmative defense. However, I believe they should be precluded from using that or any other affirmative defense owning to the common law doctrine of abusive rights and or unclean hands either should be suffice and as a counter defense, not just for to fair use but to any affirmative defense, including copyright, misuse, and the anti-slap laws. So you're just reinstating garbage again. You've already stated this several fucking times in your video, in this, in, in your video, Jesus. In your fucking, in this document. You f fucking mouth breather. Injunctions and damages. In the light of these torts, I request the following relief. First, I seek injunction ordering the individual defendants to cease and desist their infringing behavior on all websites, not just YouTube. This includes any videos they believe to be fair use, since any future videos they upload about me would necessarily not be fair use due to the affirmative counter defense of abusive rights and unclean hands. How about you go fuck yourself? Seriously, no. Fuck you. Like, this is just a fuck you. Like, no. As nominal defendants, I ask that Alphabet Inc. and YouTube LLC both be ordered pers whatever the fuck this shit means of all to do all to do all of the following. This is also where I got heated at work about this shit. Cause I was reading this at my fucking cause I, uh he's also asking three hundred K from me. I don't I'm a grocery store clerk. And on a good week I make about two hundred dollars. Where the fuck what the fuck do you think I, you know, what I do? <laughs> Your videos aren't worth 150000 each. You should be paying me to view that shit because it is painful. He's basically trying to kick you off the internet entirely. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's trying to do. Because, uh, A, permanently remove all videos on their websites by the individual defendants. So he wants all my videos gone. He wants all of Emily's videos gone. Permanently terminate the individual defendants' accounts. Uh, hey, fucko, I'm a Twitch streamer. I don't really use my YouTube channel all that often. So, guess what? Eat a fat dick. <sighs> to take the steps uh, to ensure that the individual defendants are never allowed, never again to allow to create any other accounts or channels so they may... Re yeah, like... So you, so essentially, you want us barred because we said bad words, and I called you butt hurt on Discord. Basically, eat a dick.
to promptly remove any present or future content on their sites that either 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 I'm just gonna that's not needed that's too many either's there either constitutes as infringement of my copyright even if that copyright is not registered I reasonably believe provided that I inform them in writing of said belief to be constitution of individual defendants efforts to harass or dox me even if it does not contain your copyright infringement even if a new youtuber is posting the harassing content uh eat a dick that's all i can really say on what are we page nine of eleven uh to immediately permanently terminate any accounts who have content taken down pursuit to subparagraph d after only a single infringement without regard to youtube's traditional three strike policy so he wants people who talk about him to be removed without youtube going through their normal three strikes as well. He wants anyone who talks about him gone. So that would be Kletosis, Prometheus, everybody who's ever spoken about him once, gone. Because they said mean words about me on the internet. Grow a fucking spine, shit lord. <laughs> to immediately and permanently terminate accounts who have contents taken down persuasion to subparagraph d after only a single infringement without regard to youtube's traditional three strike policy after all just like the individual defendants in this case acting in further hence of the agenda of harassing doxing and mentioning in the sister case if anyone else takes up the mantle will constitute as repeat infringement for the same reasons as i describe in footnote one may i also just remind people he's trying to drag youtube google all of this into this nonsense i might not actually have to pay for a lawyer because <laughs> google might just show up with their legal legal team and then this case is over this is what you get for that's what you would get for trying to sue large businesses like this because they do not fuck around Uh, even though that these particular individual defendants only infringe a few times, any reasonable person could tell that their accounts constitute little more than a continuation of harassing, doxing, dogpiling that I am suing over in the sister case. Therefore, they should be regarded as repeat infringers since their actions of that group as a whole constitutes repeat infringement. Eat a dick. I also that Tristan Berger be ordered to pay me set statutory damages of up to $300,000 for two separate counts of infringement. Okay, first off. $150,000 for unlawfully viewing my clips uh, in paragraph 16. Don't have proof that I did that. Bro, what damages? Yeah, no. $150,000? Nah, fam. I'll just give you fucking 20 bucks. If I... Because that's... do that. Just give him a fucking... No, no, no. Give him a uh, hundred grand candy bar. Surely he'll like that even more. Well, that's, here's the thing, though, right? He's trying to say, apparently, if I viewed the clip... That he has locked behind a twenty dollar fucking paywall, that somehow contributes to a hundred fifty thousand dollars in damages for viewing a clip. Yeah, it's the internet. Shit's gonna get spread around. As the song says, "Welcome to the internet." And another hundred fifty thousand for the use of my copyrighted YouTube material as described. Yeah, he thinks the court is a golden goose. It's not. But this also pisses me off. But this part right here, Emily's part in fucking 29. Ace Thorn gives me everything proof shield on the playground vibes. Yeah. If anything, all this bullshit has gained him money from extra views, mostly hate clicks. Yeah. Most likely. For Enclave Enemy, Emily, Emily, Enemy, Enclave Enemy, wow, Enclave Emily, her videos described in paragraph 19 through 21 have violated a total of 11 of my copyrighted works. In addition to that, she's also guilty of the first count of infringement described in paragraph 16, making the total of 12 different copyrights, which she has infringed upon. I ask for statutory, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Statutory damages of up to 150k for each of these infringed copyrights, a total of 1.8 million. Why watch Ace of Home when you can watch Echo Wilder? <laughs> he'd have a hell of a time proving. Yeah, he'd have. He has a hot, hot. This entire court case, this entire document, 
is he needs to prove this shit. He has no actual fucking proof. This makes for a grand total of two thousand or two point one million dollars in statutory damages for both individual damage or for both individual defendants. Yeah, dude, just keep trying to get money. That's like if anything, this entire document proves that you're a money hungry cunt. You have no place as a content creator. You're pa you're a passionless hack who doesn't do this for what you're supposed to. He's insane. You can't just demand the maximum payment for damages without being able to prove significant damages. Yes. Lately, lastly, I asked for the de declaration from the court that the individual defendant's actions are willingful and malicious. For, Ber for Berger, this would prevent them from discharging the debt in bankruptcy. Do you have a fucking fun time trying to prove that, shitlord? Because of the exceptions listed and whatever the fuck this legal jargon means. For Enclave Animally, it may similarly prevent discharge if Portuguese law has a similar provision in its bankruptcy code. Good luck. All I'm going to say is good luck trying to fucking prove this shit. In conclusion, I have but one modest and simple request not to be harassed, doxxed, or dogpile. We haven't been doing that. We have been disavowing that because you're not... Because it's fucked up and you're not worth the time and energy for people to do that. In fact, I would... Instead of trying to... fucking with us. Yeah. Just to try to make that excuse. If anything... If anything... Instead of trying to harass dox or dogpile him, how about you guys don't? <laughs> Pick, like, enjoy your hobbies, enjoy your life, forget this fucking little gremlin that thinks he's a person. Social Blade estimates 900 a year from YouTube. He can't claim anywhere near millions. My hobbies include being angry. <laughs> no, if anything, invest your time in reading books picking up new skills, going outside and, you know, enjoying life, while he keeps himself locked up and tr locked up in his room trying to figure out the best way to make that fucking YouTube grind work when he's failing at it. Do the one thing that he... Meet somebody. Go on dates. Stuff like that. Do something that he possibly couldn't fucking do. Because he's a sad, lonely little person who thinks that he knows what he's talking about. Uh, especially for the stuff I may, that may or may not have happened years ago that have next to no relevance on the quality of my videos or streams. They technically have a relevance. Check your DMs. Okay. It shows... It shows the pattern shows of action... Yeah, it shows the pattern of actions that you were willing to take to try and do the despicable shit that you've been doing. It has relevance in what yeah. we're talking about because we're, we're revealing a pattern of fucking behavior. But apparently there's too much to ask for... for for a lot of people, the creation of my entire community within Discord server dedicated solely to harassing docs and dog and enticing others to do the same. To put it mildly, entirely unconstitutional. And since the defendants have willingly participated in APB, they should lose any rights they otherwise would have when infringing on my copyright. Wherefore, premise, premises consider, I respectfully ask the court award me prospective injunctive and relief, statutory damages, award costs incurred, and any other relief to which I may be entitled. So request on this on the 25th day of January 2021. So he, he got the date wrong. This is a fucking joke, and it should be thrown the fuck out. There's lies, there's fucked dates, and there's fucked spelling, and there's not even a fucking real person in this lawsuit. Burger is it not shows you how opinion. disconnected he is from reality when he says it's 2021 still. He fucked up a lot. And this should be thrown out. It's been filed and it's been held and if anything, I will not actually be served. Because he fucked up. Check my Twitter DMs. Okay, let me... Uh, Twitter. I've got his millions here. Fed shreds. Oh my fucking god. Poofers. 
but yeah, no, it's, this is just dumb. He's abusing a system that he thinks he has. He's, he's abusing a system that he thinks he understands when he doesn't, and that's the most infuriating send him that. I can't, and I refuse to, because he's not worth my time anymore. I am here to take him on in legal, in legal, with the legal battle. I am not, if anything, I have ceased contact and I refuse to actually interact with him anymore. I just want to read his tweets because they're garbage. However, I will kindly pass this off to my little brother. And he can do it because this, my little brother finds this shit hilarious and has been following the Ace of Thorn drama since before, I think, Enclave Emily's video came, like, the first videos that came out on him. Because it's hilarious to him. Yeah, this is, this is his fucking 11-page legal document. As you can see, it's garbage. All of it. It's worthless. And the time and energy that the court would have to put into dealing with this, it's a waste of everything. Of everyone's time, everyone's money, and everyone's efforts. That's all he hopes to gain out of this, is to fuck people over because he's a sad little man who doesn't like it when other people say, you're fucking up, you're doing wrong. It's uh, obnoxious. Anyway, I honestly just wanted to come on and read this because it's a fucking shit show. And I do know I went on a few tangents, and I do know that I talked over Artemis here, who is with me. I do apologize about that, Artemis. You're fine. You can do anything. Man. It's your channel. But yeah, this is what's going on. Uh, thank you for joining me on, I guess, the Midnight Ashtray. But yeah. I'm going to end this now. Uh, I will do this. So if any of you want to join, I have a Discord server. Uh, join that. You hang out with me there. I'm trying to be more active there. And I think I have, if I remember correctly, this one as well. I spelled it wrong. Whatever. Uh, Twitter links and stuff are down below in the channel description. You know. I occasionally put out a banger tweet or two. But thank you everyone for stopping by and looking at me, or listen to me reading this legal garbage. Uh, I will be archiving the stream and I will be putting it over on YouTube as well. So if anyone else, wa if anyone wants to, you know, listen to me go through and read it again, or if you want to send this somewhere or I archive it a lot easier, that's where it'll be. We post cute animal pics, you should join. It makes sense that he's defending digital hom Yeah, it makes a lot more sense now that he's defended digital homicide because he sees himself in them. Because, you know, it's garbage. It's all of it's garbage. But I'll, talk I'll see you guys later. I will... Tr um, I'll be recording on Tuesday with a couple of people. We're, we're actually doing... A fun little video idea that I've had for a while and I e. am also working on an ODST video and I have been trying to slog through the day one guides or the day one reviews from IGN to see how the initial um, reception to the game was as well as uh, mostly go back and replay it myself and talk about my personal feelings on this game on that game so everyone have a wonderful night Stay safe out there. Hi, everyone. And please, I'm going to reiterate, do not harass, dox, or dogpile this individual. <laughs> I know I've been, that's, that has been just become a mantra at this point. Have a wonderful night. You, all of you are awesome people, and thank you for joining me for this. I know this was randomly sudden, but I woke up to this. So, have a great night.